I finally find the time to watch uh, Google I.O. videos and uh, this year they announced Material U. Material U is their design system um, or like a new generation of material design it should be more personalized. They recognize the need that you know one size fits all uh, interfaces are no longer the case and I need to agree because I personally uh, advise most of my clients to have different teams because you know there are people in different cultures with different devices with different screen resolutions and interfaces can be static in 2021. Based on that they define their new values which are comfortable, iconoclastic and spirited and in this video we will have a look on their new design system and I will give you my honest opinion as a person who is hugely interested in design systems and work with them every day. All right, so unfortunately uh, the material design IO is still, you know, the old version, but I found some interesting examples. We can have a look on the Figma community and I also took a couple of screenshots from the talk itself to react. So we can probably start with the screenshots um, and here, as you can see, they are basically taking their main color palette from the wallpapers and then they are applying it across the UI and as you can see it's quite flat style I would say uh, so you know Apple is going more vibrant uh, soft direction and it seems like Google is doing the opposite and they are they are going with this more uh, flat direction I personally like both of the directions so it's, 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 it's fine and I like the you know different screens but I, I think that uh, we will see more in a detail uh, in the Figma community files I found. I found one which is a pink and the other one that is green. We can start probably with the green, green one because I'm into the lime color. Like lime color with the dark mode that's super super sick. Um, the only thing I personally would do differently is is to choose the, the rounded icons from Material Design Library. Actually, if you go to Material IO, you can check their icons and yeah, uh, they are they will be probably same as they as they used to be as they used to be or as as they used to be. So let's go to the icons and where we can get them material icons yay yay oh they made a new website for it that's that's sick but it's still this old school material yeah it's, uh, i personally don't like their visual style but it's one of the biggest libraries uh, i i personally li like the the apple's ones better but you know um at least they are they are here and do they have I was thinking that they have a rounded version and filled version as well. Um, seems like no, nope. Oh yeah, here it is, rounded, yeah. So I personally use the rounded icon library, but still I don't like the details. Like this is not the best, not the best thing. So I think that this style is nice, but since you are using material design icons and it's like, you know, and they are using Roboto here, uh, which is not the case in the new new Android. They will be using Google Sense and uh, Google Google Font. Uh, what I really enjoy are these shapes, and we will be we will be having a look on them all over the all over the UI. So, for example, here this shape is just like pretty. And one fun effect, I like last. At the end of last summer, I was working with a client and I designed an app which was using somewhat crazy shapes. It was like a really interesting app and I was using like this glossy effect, different shapes and stuff like that. That app will be probably launched um, next year, at the beginning of the next year. It was a large app, so they are developing it now. And uh, I basically predicted both of the styles, uh, which are popular nowadays, and combined them. And now, it would look like every other app and when I was designing it I was actually like wow this will be so unique so I predicted both of the styles I can't show you because it's under NDA but uh, I predicted both styles and now I will look like I design an average app because people will be using shapes everywhere I think this is something very influential and we have uh, s some more screens um, I yeah uh, personally I don't like these icons and I don't like the style of, of the tab bar it's just like 
you can do better. You can do more spacing, bigger, better, nicer icons, uh, stuff like that. Uh, settings, get to know your pixel. Um, yeah, and here is a shadow. That's that's weird. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the case with the actual uh, with actual material or it's just like the designer who made this file did it. But uh, it's not so consistent when you are using flood cell. You, sh you should probably use flood cell everywhere. That calculator is nice though. Very 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 pretty. Um, yeah, but the material icons they they doesn't fit the style at all. Uh, they have the rounded icons yeah, and this this one uh, it's definitely not from the material library. Uh, it's just like you know, but th for example, this element is interesting, and we will see more interesting elements uh, here as well. We see this shape, and I think shapes are wonderful. I'm going to use them as well. Here we see a calendar, um, which is fine. These buttons doesn't look like buttons, but probably it will look differently in a in a Google thing. We see chat, and I really like these colorful chats. I think the chat should have that you know vibe in it. Um, and we see a yeah, this is a clock. I guess clock, some navigations and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And the components, we see our classic material components, which are, I don't know. Um, I personally don't like if you, if you have uh, lines in your UI and you, for example, have these icons, which are, I guess, 1.5 or, or like one pixel. And this, this line is like one pixel. I personally don't like that uh, because I feel like you know, consistency. I'm all about consistency and design systems. The models, like the uh, the dialogues and models are super ugly in material. That's something they should also focus on. That's just like, why? Why? And one thing I also don't like about material, and I'm not sure if it would, would change in this, is their, um, their limited set of colors. For example, for, uh, for text and icons, they are, they are using quite a lot um, only I think two or three two two colors yeah I think only two colors for text I usually do like three or four because then you can have different hierarchies of the text and you can say okay this is more important this is less important but for example here um, where it was uh, the dialogue yeah for example here on this dialogue all the text is like the same same color same same size uh, you don't don't know what's what's the hierarchy the, the buttons are the same so that's something I, 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 I don't like at the current version of material and if they are going to keep it it's just like uh, wrong wrong way how to do it or no like there's not a wrong or um, or a good way to do something in design but not visually pleasing um, and yeah so uh, that's probably everything we can have a look on today and as you can see there are definitely things to get inspired shapes uh, colors personification things which are still ugly uh, limited set of shades for text icons um, spacing uh, some of these things feel too clustered but some of them are flowy which is which is fine so they are getting better and yeah uh, this was like a first time reaction for, for me to see the new material UI. I'm a little bit sad that most of the Google uh, I.O. design tools were beginner level. I think there was only one intermediate level. I feel like product design is getting matured more and more and we need these in-depth conversations. And I know that Google is capable of that because I saw a couple of their talks where they went in-depth. And I think that this is, you know, a great way how we as a community of designers can learn more stuff from each other. And if we are repeating beginner rules such as, you know, how to use grid, then I'm not sure uh, if is it super helpful. Uh, but I feel like there are things which I would like to probably know more about. And that is that new motion. Like I, I really like the new interaction design and I would be super curious about how they did it specifically and how they hand off uh, such a complicated motion to the developers. Did they use Framer X or was it in After Effects and then they had a discussion or do they have any like 
other tool or something like that? I would like to know. Uh, the other thing I would like to know about our design system. So what is their uh, setup in Google? Uh, what's their structure? What's their architecture? How they are working with that and how they are working with that across team and different versions? Because you know it's a huge company and I'm sure they have design system. So how they achieve that? Uh, that's something I would like to know as well. And the last thing is they introduced this new color uh, matching algorithm and they mentioned it briefly at the beginning of one presentation but I would like to know specifically how this works and how they are working with luminosity in depth and yeah these are things I would be super curious about if it if it would be me deciding what are the talks about. So as you can see I'm on board with most of the thinking and I feel like uh, we should focus on accessibility, we should focus on localization and we should focus on uh, the users to feel very comfortable with their products, especially uh, older generations and people who uh, you know, got into this world of technology lately. Uh, I think and there is a lot of people like that uh, in, in developing countries and you know for example Africa or something like that they didn't have smartphones now they do now there is I think more than a billion users on a, on a Facebook which is crazy and I think we as a designers should focus on all of the users not only tech savvy users like for example myself or like my friends but also on my grandma and I'm taking away uh, this mindset or I used to have it before but now I'm like you know, this empathy, empathy is, is super important. Uh, if you want to learn more about design, uh, business psychology and stuff like that, I also have a newsletter. It's called Fridays in Spoof. And I'm sending you each week on Friday uh, things which I was learning the week before. So it keeping, it's keeping me accountable um, to you. Uh, that I'm you know learning new stuff and also you can get inspired for free so you can si sign up the link will be down below in the description and with that said I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see each other next week Bye.